So, uh, we got a truck here. It's a Lugong with this uh, Kubota engine. And the complaint from the customer is that it would have an intermittent hesitation. So, um, let me start it. Right. Starts up fine. Idle. I mean, nothing really obvious. So let's try to um, do a snap throttle. That's a bit there. Okay. 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 I don't know if you can hear it, but under a snap, you would hear kind of like a, a fish bite misfire. Not all the time, but it's there. There you go. Yeah, that's a hesitation. But let me try to increase the RPM slowly. Okay, there's no hesitation under a slow RPM increase. So it would more so happen during a snap. Not all the time, but it's there. Yep. Okay, so feel this for a sec. When something like this happens and there is an intermittent hesitation, but it's more so happens on a snap test snap throttle, then this would point me to an ignition problem, be it a coil, a spark plug, or something along the line ignition related. So next thing we're going to do is I'm going to use a probe, right, to see the ignition waveform for each cylinder and see which cylinder would have a different waveform from the rest of them. Uh, so I'm thinking it's going to be one or two cylinders that's intermittently misfiring. So that's what we're going to do next. Okay, so we're going to use this probe, right, hooked up to the oscilloscope, and then we're going to try with number one first, or number four, it's in the back, all right, you can see it on the waveform, nothing really obvious, running-wise, so under number three, it's almost the same as that, that's four, okay. Okay, number three, number two, number one, but that was expected because we didn't have any running issues on idle, but let, let's do a snap, all right? So number four again, looking at the waveform, we do a couple of snaps, okay. We felt the hesitation, but it's not happening on number four. Uh, let's try it on number two. Okay, this is now number two. Ooh. Okay, let me do a snap again. Okay, nothing there. Ooh. Okay, well, something there. Let's try it again. It's a definite hesitation. Okay, number one. Let's see for that hesitation to happen. Okay. The one that sees. Okay, let's pause that for a bit. Let me try and go back to that number one. Okay. Let's go back. So this is the number one. That's what I was uh, testing last.
Yeah, nothing really much. Okay, let's run this again. Let's see if we see something definite. Okay, testing again. So number and number three. Okay, I'm on number three right now. Snap. Okay, lost that for a sec. Go back. Okay, nothing really there. Okay, number four. It's running. Let's see. The hesitation, but now we must change it to number four. Okay, this one is number two. Okay, cross that. Let's go back. Number two. up the uh, trigger. Okay, number two again. Okay. okay. Definitely saw something there. Okay. This is what's happening. Let's, let's kill this for a second. Okay. Let me show this on the camera. So this is what we captured the number two, which I saw earlier kind of like, but I wasn't able to catch it quickly. But this is not happening on the number four, wasn't happening on the number three, but on the number two, you know, it shortened up and the energy required has jumped up. Okay, so <clears throat> I feel it's gonna be on the number two cylinder. That we're having a problem so what i'm going to do right now right is i'm going to transfer the coil of course we're going to take out this part plug look at this part plug if there's something obvious with this part plug start there but if i don't i'm going to have to transfer or swap between a good cylinder or a good ignition coil and spark plug to another cylinder and see if the problem transfers over so we're going to do that next Okay, so we took out the um, ignition coil from the number two cylinder, and this is what I found. Right? So that's the ignition coil. As you can see here, now it's arcing out because of that broken boot. You can see that. So, whenever it gets harder for the spark to jump inside the cylinder, especially on a snap throttle test where you have so much air going in when the engine is trying to go faster it gulps in a big amount of air raising the compression it makes it harder for the spark to jump inside the cylinder so we try to find a way to jump like right? electricity you know follows the path of least resistance and in this case it's going to jump outside because it's easier for the spark okay so now we're going to replace this coil and then we're going to do the test again and see where we are. Okay, so now we replace the coil. All right, so we're gonna go off with the number four again. First off, so that's number four. Number four coil. Okay, do a snap. Okay, nothing really there. I don't feel that hesitation. Okay. Okay, now about number three. Nothing there. Okay, so this is the one we replaced, number two. 
more. Okay, so we see the uh, spark line getting uh, narrower, but that's normal. That's the way it should be. And number one. Okay, all right, so right now we don't see any changes in the waveform, especially for the number two, which we replaced the uh, ignition coil. All right, and I don't feel the uh, intermittent hesitation anymore. So when we started, it would. It's not every time, but it's frequent enough that you try it again and again, it would show and you would feel it. So right now, I would consider this one a fix.